Prior to operation, read and understand the operator's manual. Understand and comply with all federal, state, and local laws and regulations that apply to your work situation. Contact local authorities regarding regulations prior to working in any trench. Before digging on any project, call your local one-call digger systems to have utilities located and marked. Use proper PPE. The SLX 1300 pipe extraction system uses same path technology to remove half inch, two inch and a quarter steel gas services from the ground while simultaneously pulling new HDPE or MDPE pipe into the existing location. This video will introduce you to the steel pipe extraction process. Prior to operating the SLX 1300, be sure to have your pits properly prepared. Excavate entrance pit A and expose 4 inches of pipe. Verify legacy pipe material and size. Excavate pit B near main. Expose a minimum of 10 inches of pipe. Pit base should be 9 inches below center line of legacy pipe. Pit face must be flat and perpendicular to pipe. Carefully unwrap the SLX 1300 hoses and attach to the PB13 on the opposite side of the exhaust utilizing the manifold bracket. Clean the fittings with a clean rag and connect and lock hydraulic hoses from PB13 to SLX 1300. Three levers on the PB13 control the carriage, jaws, and shears. The first lever moves the carriage forward and back. The second lever clamps and releases the jaws. The third lever operates the shears to an open and shearing position. Start the PB13 and cycle the carriage to the rear of the machine. Identify the diameter of the cable. Using the PSI chart, select max PSI for the cable size. With the motion lever pulled, deadhead the carriage. Adjust pressure relief valve to the max pressure. Open the SLX 1300 jaws. Open the pipe shear. Turn off the power pack. Remove the drop shoot frame from the SLX 1300 and replace with the bungee frame. Install the chuck gate. Lower the SLX 1300 into the pit over the exposed pipe and slide forward to the pit wall. Turn the power pack on. Using only the push-pull lever, cycle the carriage forward toward the pit face. Turn off the power pack. Remove the swivel cap from the carrot extractor assembly and thread the carrot extractor assembly into the pipe. Set swivel cap aside in order to keep free of debris. Tighten with pipe wrench to snug. Feed the cable through the carrot and pipe in entrance pit A to the SLX 1300. Slide the chuck pocket over the cable in exit pit B and install into the shear assembly. Thread the cable through the plain end of the chuck, exiting through the chuck cap and the spring cap end. Continue feeding cable through the bungee frame assembly. Instruct a coworker to monitor the cable at entrance pit A and stop with roughly 10 to 12 inches of cable left outside of the pipe. Install jaw set on cable end with a quarter inch of the cable sticking out. Apply Molly Lube to the tapered face of the jaw surfaces. Pull excess cable from the exit pit B 
and seat jaws into carrot extractor assembly. Do not pull too hard. Install the swivel cap assembly. Tighten with pipe wrench to snug. Thread the carrot puller into the new product pipe. Tighten with a wrench until you cannot tighten further. Attach carrot puller to the carrot extractor assembly. Use wrench to tighten. Power on the PB13. Adjust the carriage to be halfway between the machine. Turn off the power pack. Slide the chuck toward the carriage assembly and seat into the chuck pocket. Power on the PB13. With the jaws open, begin pull and monitor the pressure gauge until the pipe moves. If the pipe moves, complete stroke and return carriage to the front of the machine. Clamp jaws, squeezing the pipe down on the cable. Remove bungee frame. Remove chuck assembly and the chuck pocket. Install drop chute. Stroke machine to make a pull. Open jaws and return carriage to front of machine. Activate the shears with the jaws open and the carriage at the rear of the machine. Shears can be activated at any length desired. Clamp and pull. Repeat process until extraction is complete. As a best practice, Monitor the new pipe being pulled into place. Monitor the shears and clamp. Don't clamp or shear on any mechanical joints or the carrot. If the pipe did not move at the preset pressure, then stop the extraction and use the tensioned cable method. Turn off the PB13. In the exit pit, slide a second chuck onto the cable outside the machine until it touches the chuck gate. Turn the power pack on. Cycle the cylinders forward halfway. This allows second chuck to retain tension on the cable. Slide chuck number one up to the chuck pocket. With the jaws open, Begin pull and monitor the pressure gauge until the pipe moves. If the pipe moves, complete stroke and return carriage to the front of the machine. Clamp jaws, squeezing the pipe down on the cable. Turn off the PB13. Remove the second chuck assembly. Remove bungee frame. Remove chuck assembly and the chuck pocket. Install drop chute. Turn the power pack on. Stroke machine to make a pull. Open jaws and return carriage to front of machine.
Activate the shears with the jaws open and the carriage at the rear of the machine. Shears can be activated at any length desired. Clamp and pull. Repeat process until extraction is complete. As a best practice, monitor the new pipe being pulled into place. Monitor the shears and clamp. Don't clamp or shear on any mechanical joints or the carrot. If the pipe still did not move at the preset pressure, use the tensioned cable method with maximum pressure setting. Adjust the carriage to be halfway between the machine. Turn off the power pack. Slide the chuck toward the carriage assembly and seat into the chuck pocket. Power on the PB13. Reset pressure based on the combined PSI ratings of pipe and cable listed on chart. Clamp the jaws, then pull. Turn off the PB13. Remove the second chuck assembly. Remove bungee frame. Remove chuck assembly and the chuck pocket. Install drop chute. Turn the power pack on. Stroke machine to make a pull. Open jaws and return carriage to front of machine. Activate the shears with the jaws open and the carriage at the rear of the machine. Shears can be activated at any length desired. Clamp and pull. Repeat process until extraction is complete. As a best practice, monitor the new pipe being pulled into place. Monitor the shears and clamp. Don't clamp or shear on any mechanical joints or the carrot. If the pipe does not move at the maximum pressure setting, use the pneumatic assist method to loosen the pipe. Remove chuck pocket. Cycle carriage assembly to the front of the unit. Turn off the PB13. Remove both chucks or unscrew the chuck collars and slide the chucks back approximately 18 inches. Disconnect new pipe and pulling carrot from the carrot extractor assembly. Remove swivel cap assembly from the carrot extractor. Unscrew the carrot extraction assembly from the existing pipe. Remove jaws from inside the carrot extraction assembly. Slide carrot extraction assembly off of the cable. Install the mole extractor. Install chuck assembly with one inch of cable exposed. Mole extractor will then cover the chuck assembly. Pull the cable back by hand at exit pit A, seating the chuck in the mole extractor. 
Install chuck assembly number one on the cable at exit pit A. Slide through bungee frame and seat into chuck pocket. Insert mole at entrance pit B into mole extractor. Set the piercing tool to forward. Slightly open the air valve on the oiler and lock the tool into the extractor. Turn on the PB13 and begin pulling only using the push-pull lever. Do not clamp jaws. Open the air valve on the piercing tool to full power. Hold pressure and run piercing tool until the pipe begins to move. When the pipe begins to move, stop pulling and turn the air off to the piercing tool. Set the piercing tool to reverse. Restart piercing tool and run until it unlocks from the mole extractor. Cycle carriage assembly to the front of the unit. Turn off the PB13. Remove chuck assembly and the chuck pocket. Install drop chute. Slide the mole extractor forward one foot and remove the chuck assembly. Remove the mole extractor from the cable. Slide carrot extraction assembly over cable and into existing pipe. Tighten with pipe wrench to snug. Apply molly lube only to the tapered face of the jaw set. Install on cable end with a quarter inch sticking out of the jaw set. Pull excess cable from the exit pit B and seat jaws into carrot extractor assembly. Do not pull too hard. Install the swivel cap assembly. Tighten with pipe wrench to snug. Attach carrot puller to the carrot extractor assembly. Use wrench to tighten. Turn the power pack on. Stroke machine to make a pull. Shears can be activated at any length desired. Clamp and pull. Repeat process until extraction is complete. As a best practice, monitor the new pipe being pulled into place. Monitor the shears and clamp. Don't clamp or shear on any mechanical joints or the carrot.